WWE Women's Championship. Here comes the Queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE. Uh, Corey, I'm sure you would agree that no one makes quite an entrance like Charlotte Flair. I completely agree, Saxon, because every time she's in the ring, it is a spectacle to behold. Charlotte Flair competed in the first women's match to main event WrestleMania and takes pride in always controlling the situation around her. There is no one better in the big moment than Charlotte Flair as physically dominant as any superstar we have ever seen. Charlotte is always happy to send a message inside the ropes. And each step furthers her legacy. This woman is the real deal. It's a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. Hey, we know Charlotte will do anything and everything to win. She's got to have that same mentality here tonight. Introducing the challenger from Yorktown Heights, New York. With this championship title in play, you can expect this match to be something special. Here we go with the title on the line. The stakes in this match really couldn't be any higher. Uh, yeah. Uh-oh, Dragon Sleeper applied. This could be it. She's in a tremendous amount of pain. Is she gonna... Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Fighting back with a counter. She'll take things into the ring. Hooked up. Now oh, look at the power side slam. 
She saw it coming. Series of reversals. Oh, good night. Oh, foot just stomping down. That's a free fall. Counter by Charlotte. It's the drop kick. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Endless knee strikes. Corey, I have to ask, what's the thought process got to be when you're facing off against a superstar like Charlotte Flair? What's the mindset you have to have? A superstar like Charlotte Flair, Cole? Nobody's like the queen, but in terms of the mindset, you have to get it in your head that you are better than Charlotte if you want to stand a chance. Sure, it's not true, but believing's half the battle. The other half, well, it is the battle. Oh, and she turns it around. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Oh, oh, oh that's going to sting. That breaker. Lock it in, the dragon sleeper. You can see the agony on her face. This is painful. Can she... Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Blackjack. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. Go, go, go. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. And now gets tossed into the ring. She did it over there. Ah, Charlotte caught by the counter. Yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pull that slam. Oh, oh, he he is. That's gonna hurt. The title might change hands. The only word that comes to mind with them is adoration. Yeah, Corey, what started as a sporting rivalry has devolved into this all-out war we're seeing unfold here. Buster. you want to see by any means. Charlotte Flair stepping into the figure four. Can she complete the bridge? It's in. This one's over. Charlotte Flair wins. Well, Charlotte wins and keeps the title in impressive fashion. 
and still WWE Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. That is the kind of win that opens eyes here in WWE. A major victory here. Charlotte's happy with her victory tonight. With good reason. What an impressive win for the Queen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. The dangerous Santos Escobar from Lucha Royalty to the Emperor of Lucha Libre. his family and the tradition of Lucha Libre. Yeah, you gotta watch your step around Santos Escobar because he can drop you in a second. Well, there's an understatement. Escobar's already doled out so much punishment to anyone opposing Legato. Big match here, guys, as the title will be on the line tonight. And the champ has looked dominant of late. But all it takes is one wrong move, and that title could be going home with somebody else. The champ has never looked more focused, laser-focused on the task at hand. Introducing the challenger from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. And his opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Jeff Corby. That championship right there is what it's all about, gentlemen.
Ladies and gentlemen, we could possibly see the title change hands and a new champion crowned here tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you think you're putting the cart before the horse, Cole? The champ is the champ for a reason. Going for it. Going to step through. All on their belly. With all on his stomach. Busted crab. Busted. The champion into the cover. Shoulder up before two. Trying to catch him off guard with that attempt. Springboard misses the target. They're gonna wear down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. Oh, new champ. Denying a two count there. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. Set up in the corner of the ring. Ooh. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. He's ejected from the ring. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oh, Santos counters. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Great strength being shown here. Oh, look at this. You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. And Takiri finds its mark. Right to the kidneys from behind. Corey, how do you plan for a superstar like Santos Escobar? Escobar has a hybrid offense, mixing lucha tradition with modern aggression. If you want to defeat him, you need to be able to weather the early storm and not let your guard down. Into the barricade. Right. He beats the count, and this one continues. Flashback. The challenger eating up some damage. Escobar avoids that one. Oh, take it down. I think we're gonna see it. Bloody cross. Off into the pin. And he gets the shoulder up before two. He's still in this. It's just punishing the knee. Shot after shot after shot. Hammer it away. Ah, huge miss there. Uh oh. oh twist of fate. And into the count. Two. Just after two. Not yet. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Taking flight, diving body splash. Now that was athletic. When you had the skip, here's a pin for the title. The champ not letting the ref get to two. This isn't even close to over. Stop after stop after stop. Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Uh oh. Suicide. To win. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Oh, what a shot. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxton's a very fragile boy. And that was an effective attack, guys. Inserting back. Stops the count. Oh, the elbow the knee. Oh, hyper extend your leg. Toss back into the ring. Top rope, here we go! He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. We're gonna finish it off! Swat! Can it be? Will the rain continue?
Jeff Corby. A big win, and the celebration has begun. This win is huge. I'm sure they'll be posting about this on social media all week long. J.C. Jane, G.G. Dolan, Toxic Attraction is here, and they look amazing. The following contest is a tag team, tables, ladders, and chairs match. And it's for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. And J.C. Jane and G.G. Dolan In short order, these two young women have established themselves as the dominant force in NXT. Yeah, multiple tag team reigns, multiple main events. Dolan and Jane both have bright futures in WWE, even if they have a bit of an attitude problem. Bow your head, Saxton. Show some respect for the queen. The only time I bow my head is when my neck hurts. And introducing the champions. First, from Queens, New York. She is one half of the women's tag team champions, Queen Zelina. Queen Zelina possesses over a decade of experience in the ring. Yeah, you may not like her attitude, but Queen Zelina is a true student of the game. She knows every trick in the book, and knowing those tricks has brought her great success. What is wrong with Queen Zelina's attitude, Saxton? You sound like a real peasant. Give me about four hours, and I'll tell you. There have been many who've called themselves the queen, but Zelina is the only one with the crown. by her success in the ring. And from Staten Island, New York, she is one half of the women's tag team champions, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. She's won multiple titles. She's the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. She's married to the best commentator in the history of the business. Carmella is proof you can have it all. She's not married to me, Corey. Shut up, Cole.
The Women's Tag Team Championships being contended for in this tables, ladders, and chairs match, and it will be decided with JC Jane and Gigi Dolan. And across from them, they will be squaring off with Queen Zelina and Carmella. No competitor can go more than two feet without being met with a foreign object. So many lethal weapons in a TLC match. And it doesn't matter where you are in this match. Even the title above the ring can be used as a weapon. There's nowhere to escape the dangers. Nicely done with the head scissors. Ripping and tearing oh. at the face. Ripping and tearing at the face. That's just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Able to avoid there. Straight, Corey. What's the key to success here in this TLC match? You have to come out swimming for the fences, Corey. You have to use anything and everything you can possibly get your hands on. If you don't, just know that your opponents absolutely will. Oh, some wishful thinking going on here. Oh, strong impact. Got a hold of it. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. Doesn't appear to have a good hand on it. Reach, reach. Up a notch with that chair. Able to interrupt the attack. Oh, and a back break. Oh, so good effect. That unraveled on JC. Mella counters. Oh, that hurt right in the kidney. Golly. See here. Driving the face down. The champ now absorbing a little damage. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. Into the ring again. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Any chance that Tara will be set for a lovely spread? Uh, never mind, that never happens. Somebody's got me going through it. And we've seen how this rivalry has escalated to the point that no one involved cares about the collateral damage they caused. Hell, Michael, they don't even care about their own well-being. They just want to destroy and embarrass them, no matter the place or the consequences. And that is what makes this whole situation so scary. Nobody in this building thinks the match can end here. I think so. Win and don't try to knock your opponent's block off. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. She's into the ring again. Oh, slap. Oh, God. Brutal chop block. Carmella Buster. Carmella with a super kick. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. She's got something devious planned as she sets up the ladder on the apron. Oh, oh, oh.
with an impressive tag team win. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. Make way for the Irish ace. This is gonna be good. JD's recently proven very difficult to beat because of his incredible threshold for pain. Does this guy not freak you out? I mean, he signed an NXT Championship contract in blood. Yeah, disturbing with a, a quiet intensity, right? Ferocious thoughts that will turn to disturbing actions. Yeah, those disturbing actions include dismantling the human body, utilizing pressure points, joint locks, and ligaments that can tear Tendon from bone. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. Social media buzzing as it always does when this competitor defends his title. This is going to be good. The WWE United Kingdom Championship quickly developing a specific brand of competition, a hard-hitting, strong style. Expect fists to faces in this one, fellas.
You can feel the tension. You can feel the anticipation. This could easily be the biggest match in the NXT UK Championship's relatively short history. from the ropes, but standing next to your opponent? Now that's something else. And JD gets that turn back on him. Yeah. Kick to the gut. Double under heart. Tiger Bomb! to accomplish that. Simply put, Cole, McDonough is full of spit and vinegar. Even if he's got a clear disadvantage, he'll make up for that with determination. And if that fails, then there's creative interpretation of the rules. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Tough position to be caught in here. Sight. Oh, jeez, you might break a neck that way. Power from the suplex goes into the pin. Not yet. Great wherewithal on the counter. He got whipped into that corner. Saw that one coming, took advantage. A uh, arm bar. Punishing stretch. You have to protect your shoulders from hits like that. You don't want to compromise your ability to throw a punch or lock in the Into the pin attempt. There's two. Kick out from the challenger. Scary close. The challenger's looking shaken. Oh, misses the mark. And JD gets that turn back on him. Oh, falls victim to a German suplex. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm. Both arms captured and vitriolic stops. Stop after stop. Relentless. We've arrived. It's about time. The bitter end. Oof. I think the champ's got it. Two. Got the shoulder up. Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot. Yet you can't give up now. Hey, it might be time for a change of strategy. His best move didn't get the job done. Rolled up, seizing opportunity. And only gets a one count. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Targeting the stomach to reverse that maneuver. must be kept on. He's lining him up. Ireland's J.D. McDonough. Good to see a new champ. Two count. The champ isn't going down easy. We knew it was not going to be an easy task 
to put the champion away, and that's being proven right now. More like the champion's proving that sooner perish than lose their title. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes or the fact that he hasn't finished this. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner, and still the WWE United Kingdom Champion, Peter Dunn. You cannot say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. You have to hand it to them. They found an opening, even when it looked like things could easily turn in their competitors' favor here. The EST is here. This is going to be good. The following contest is a triple threat. Falls count anywhere match. And is for the WWE Women's World Championship. Introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Bell. Just signature, exuberant energy. Now, Belair is always ready for her next big moment. And always highly motivated to be the best at everything she does. The Hall of Fame, Glamazon. And introducing the challenger from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix has cannons for arms, holding indomitable pillars of strength and beauty. In layman's terms, the Glamazon is jacked, stacked, and ready to break someone's back. The youngest Hall of Fame inductee in the history of WWE. The Eradicator has arrived. Ready to pass judgment on the women's division. She is the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley. Judgment Day has arrived for the entire women's division. Yeah, Ripley was already a dominant competitor, but that dominance has grown exponentially since joining the Judgment Day. She's already held the NXT Women's title, the WWE Women's Tag Titles, and the Raw Women's title. What could be next for Ripley? Maria Ripley looks ready to torment yet another victim. What's the matter over there, Saxton? You feeling a little squeamish? A little uncomfortable.
a fully confident challenger in their corner. Absolutely hell-bent on capturing the title. Championship dreams will be realized and championship dreams will be dashed in this false count anywhere match where the pinfall can be counted any place in the arena and things are underway with Bianca Belair, Beth Phoenix, and Rhea Ripley. We could be looking at a new champion here tonight. I just hope the title's nearby if this one ends up backstage. Oh, oh look at the knees. Endless knees strikes. And that definitely made solid impact. Goodness gracious. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. She sent flying into the corner. This one is headed outside, guys. Strong takedown. Pins can happen anywhere at any time, and that's gotta be a concern for most superstars in a falls count. Anywhere match, Corey. It's absolutely a concern. Conserving your energy has to be a priority in this type of match. A move that takes a lot of energy now might keep you from kicking out late. Uh oh. She could be setting up for a submission here. Abdominal stretch torquing the body right now. Hip tossing her way out of a bad situation. Down with the leg drop. Ah, oh, kick. Nasty kick. Just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about it. Canadian backbreaker submission. No. Left by the turnbuckles. Oh man. Dumped face first. The champ taking their share of hits now. Take down. Belair able to counter. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. Into the ring now. Boom, just turn that around. And it looks like they have no problem bending the rules there. That is showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Impressive defense stops Ripley. There goes Ripley, sent to the outside corner. Oh. Ooh. Oh, this is not going to end well at all. Oh, Inverted. my God. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Can't prepare your face for that. Boom, right across the small of the back. Here's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. Broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. something under the ring to even her odds here. I guarantee that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. Being carried around with ease. Face first. Face buster. Oh, hard impact in the corner. Coming back into the ring. Back to the action. 
position. Getting carried around that spot to be. And that was an official for the offense with that move. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. Final scramble your insides. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Forced out of the ring. And it looks like she won. Uh-oh. Oh, look at her answering back. Elbow smash. Yeah. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Yeah, 
I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. A rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. And Bianca turning around. Thrown back in under the ropes. Ooh, jarring back elbow. Beth staking her claim here as the powerhouse of the women's division. slam! And she slides her back to the mat. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Oh, impressive counter. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, man. Slide Buster! With a sit-out. Nasty. Beth sizing her up. She's in the ring now. She got launched. being used. Bianca Belair. Uh -oh. Belair gets beat to the punch. And here is Belair forced out of the ring. She's taking things to ringside. Dangerous intentions in her mind right now. Uh oh, she has trouble coming. Now she breaks the hole. damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. And did you hear the impact of that? <laughs> Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. Continue attacks from Rhea. Precision attacks, courtesy of Rhea Ripley. Ooh, she just turned it around. for that effort. Oh, disturbing impact. Punishing oh, oh, power And that was a well-executed attack. No one really predicted that. Staved off that attack. And now she delivers her back into the ring. And we just saw some serious offense. And Belair reverses it. This is crazy strength. And a bad landing. It's amazing how strong Rhea Ripley is. Rhea Ripley, electric chair, face buster. And now thrown back into the ring. Throws her back in from ringside. Coming in hot.
And back in the ring we go. She'll get sent out the hard way. Phoenix goes for a ride. Taking it outside the ring now. Two-handed choke slam. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Bianca is losing any remnants of control now. Belair is not gauging the situation accurately. Oh, and a stomp right to the back.
ringside. And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and still WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley. Quite the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. Three superstars absolutely giving it their all, with one breaking away from the pack and the. A battle-hardened veteran and one of WWE's toughest women. Elite military background trained in NXT while raising her daughter gave birth to another while competing on the main roster. Yeah, like her or hate her, uh, Lacey is as tough as they come. The sassy Southern Belle is gone, gentlemen. You are now looking at a woman possessed. One of the best women strikers in WWE, Nikita Lyons. Already a favorite of the NXT crowd. It won't be long before the entire WWE Universe catches on. display from Lions. And I think we'll see plenty more of that in this match tonight. at the champion, I guarantee there is no doubt in their mind as to who is leaving this match with the title around their waist. This right here is a championship that gained a lot of prestige in short order, guys. Yeah, I mean, once a title match is called by yours truly, you know it's 
finally matters in our industry. Well, you're certainly not Mr. Modest today, are you, Corey? Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Evans with the retaliation. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. That gets reversed on Nikita. Placed in the corner. Oh, the wind just knocked right out with that. Well, this is just establishing dominance. Oh, oh I stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Oof. There's certainly an element of danger inherent in a no disqualification match, isn't there, Corey? More than a lot of people realize. It's not just the superstar in the ring you have to worry about. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match can swing with or against you so fast. Oh, nice deep arm drag. And no count outs means she has the whole outside to play with. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Don't do this. Don't do it! And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. One arm hooked. Face buster! Is it enough? Two! Fends off the three count. Close call. That was almost lights out. The champ getting put to the test here. Shoulder tackle. Oh, the heel hook. Stretch. Kick to the back. And Nikita capitalizes there. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Blow to the abdomen, gets him out of that. Oh. Fast press! Fast press! Get his press! Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Twists the arm and a big boot to the guts. with a win like that. The entire women's division was watching this one, and she is the one to watch, guys. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Intercontinental Championship. We are about to see a martial arts masterpiece, both on the ramp and in the ring.
Ozaya has an impressive martial arts background. Ozaya is certainly well versed in the art of combat. The protector has arrived. And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Right, Io Sky, maybe the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing they've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Kai, Bailey, and Sky about to take what they want. You can see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. And there's an argument to be made that defending the title is even harder than winning it, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. You've got your name in the history books. Now it's about what kind of legacy you're going to leave. And that comes down to how you respond to your challengers. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Very effective. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Right to the kidneys from behind. To the arm. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Held in a perilous position. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Just malicious. This champ's got the pen to retain. She kicks out at one. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. She's staying elusive. A oh, roundhouse kick. Look at that counter from Bailey. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh my God, we're gonna have a new champion. She's still got a lot of stamina left. Oh, a wrist clutch. Into an arm breaker. Nasty. Continually punishing, man. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Improving a bit slippery for them there. 
this. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Reversal! Can she capitalize? Cole, what exactly is it that Bailey needs to do here in order to come out on top? Bailey's a fighter, Cole. She can be downright scrappy when she needs to be. And tonight, I'd say she needs to be. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Oh man, looks like her opponent's not gonna need a chiropractor. Bailey did her homework there. Oh, a wrist clutch. Into an arm breaker. Nasty. Continually punishing, man. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Looking wobbly in the corner. The roundhouse connects. Counter. And Uh-oh, gonna cut off the win. Guillotine applied. Oh, I'm not sure there's anything she can do here. She is trapped and in danger. Byron, she can... Gotta find her way out of the guillotine. They're not gonna last long. Well, what a bridge and out. Incredible. Titanic shift roaring through this crowd right now. Right, you're not. 
kick and sent all the way to the outside. Look out! Oh, oh wow. man. Hell of a counter into a powerbomb. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Oh, oh, the top, the wind, guillotine the prime. Well, this isn't gonna win the fall, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. Well, she has gotta somehow find a way out right now, and she does it. Testing fate right now. Zia Lee is looking to deflate her opponent. And now, oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her hitting the kick connects, hooking it up. The champ will stay champ. Great officiating as the rep noticed she was on the ropes. Places her right in the corner. Boom, timely counter by Lee. What, what do you say? I mean, this, this, is, this is amazing. Here's the pin to oh, go. A kick at it, too. We are seeing something special from the champ here. Oh, and a knee to the face. Leg drop. It's effective. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Looked out of the air. Here's the pin to retain. Two. Tremendous victory. Bailey is still your champion. Here is your winner. And still, WWE Women's Intercontinental. Champion Bailey, and she walks away with a big win. A win like this always makes me happy. I kind of want to hop in there and celebrate with them. Here comes L.A. Knight, a man who brings the excitement level to the max. The following contest is a six-man yeah. battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Knight. Movie star, good looks, charismatic as the day is long, and tough as nails. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. Oh, remember, Knight has two decades of experience. He's held top titles all throughout the world, so he is more than ready for the stage of WWE. The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived. And a fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle.
The Scottish Warrior outlasted 29 other superstars to win the 2020 Royal Rumble match and then carried that momentum all the way to WrestleMania, where he became WWE Champion. And here's the man, The Miz, who is one of the most accomplished stars in the history of WWE. Just one of the many reasons why he is the A-lister. And from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! How can you not be inspired? by The Miz's ability to overcome people's petty jealousy. What a moneymaker. You know what I think? I think The Miz should be studied by astrologists. The guy thinks the Earth revolves around him. Well, I and many others happen to believe the spotlight should stay on Miz for the rest of his WWE career. The ring general has arrived. The man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. And representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunther! Without question, Gunther has made an immediate impact since his arrival. A truly dominant specimen. And a specimen who is as ready as ever to chop clean through the competition. Hey, he puts others to the test. And they often come up short. He moves with such a purpose. Absolutely no wasted energy. Well, that's because Gunther is saving himself completely for the battle ahead. Yeah, but he does manage to make his entrance as intimidating as possible. This man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. And from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Guys, Bobby Lashley has the physique it's carved out of marble. Yeah, Michael, when you look at Bobby Lashley, you see an absolute freak of nature. And it is almost impossible to stop this runaway train. The presence of Bobby Lashley is not a figment of your imagination. There's no filter on a social media app needed. Bobby Lashley is as real as it gets. Hey, he's a peak physical specimen. Proud U.S. Army veteran who's dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. And representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. This man has an impressive resume. Plenty of championship reigns. Yet Finn Balor continues to evolve. 
Pay attention to his newfound cunning and ruthlessness. Yeah, this is not the Finn Balor we once knew. Well, sometimes change is a good thing. See the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. There's the battle. This battle royal is officially kicking off, guys. Surprises really abound in this type of match. Yeah, we've seen dark horses prevail in this type of chaos before. Elimination after elimination until one superstar stands tall to claim the victory. Who will it be? That's the million dollar question. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Hooked up. DDT! Rotating vertical suplex! Nicely done! He steers clear of contact. Gunther cuts him off. German suplex! Falcon arrow. Oh, my! Devastating impact to the back. Oh, check out this power. This is ridiculous. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Boot to a gun will stop anyone in their tracks. He's now suplex. Placed into the corner. What a shot. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Connecting on the DDT. Shoulder. Filthy. 
This is just brute power. German! Just pure dominance. Sent into the corner. Uh-oh. This could be it. Crucial elbow. Oh, that might have just broken something. Bella retaliates. Shutting that down with the back elbow. Russian leg sweep. stretches of this battle royal. The only question is, can it last to the end? Oh my gosh, what impact! Look at this display of power! Overhead, belly to belly! He decided, jeez!
This win is going to have them on a high for quite some time, I have to believe. Winning's great, Saxton, but they have to start thinking about their next challenge sooner rather than later. This win won't be all that matters much longer. Welcome to the Uso Penitentiary. One of the great tag teams of all time. Jimmy and Jay have been on a run recently that has redefined the tag team division in WWE. Both Jimmy and Jay have earned seats at the table with Roman Reigns. Roman, who has made both better. Well, I question that. Has Roman Reigns made Jimmy and Jay Uso better? Or has Roman Reigns actually divided the Usos? It is just about impossible to overcome the bond that the Usos share, Saxton. And I'd say he's probably a little more motivated than usual to pick up the victory here tonight. I'd agree with that, Michael, especially considering how much these guys absolutely despise each other. Hey, Corey, let me see your swag. Byron, I didn't think it was possible, but you saying what you just did somehow make Dawkins and Ford less cool. What do you and mean? And these guys are dripping with swag. Can you imagine all three of us walking into a club, cutting a rug or two? I can. Byron, you're humiliating yourself. I hope the street profits don't listen to any of this commentary, Byron, when they watch this show back. Look, I am in with the Street Profits. Angelo no, Dawkins. You're not, Byron. You're making them less money right now. The Street Profits want nothing to do with you. Triple Crown Tag Team Champions. NXT Raw and SmackDown. You know what that means, Michael? It doesn't matter what the brand is. The Street Profits always bring the smoke. Some formidable pairs have five for this title. And always ooh, 
using it with confidence. The Usos look as ready as ever. And it's hard to overstate how far Jimmy and Jay have come. They were in face paint over 10 years ago. Now they represent the bloodline. With that backing behind them, there is nothing that can throw them off. And you know their whole family is looking to them to carry the strong legacy further. We'll see how they fare tonight. And I hope they brought their red cups because profits are bringing the party. Well, as entertaining as they are, Saxton, Dawkins and Ford have made sure their flash doesn't outshine their abilities. For every ounce of swagger they have, they have twice the talent. He's got the answer for that one. Strikes with a kick. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Dawkins with the reversal. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. And there was some force on that move. Oh! He knew what was coming there! Oh, rear super kick! Oh, my, nasty. He clearly has no intention of staying down. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Ooh, DDT delivered. Tag is made, and here we go. Schoolboy. fighting yet. Boom! What a hot shot! It's all the way to the outside. Uh-oh. Flapjack! Way up there. Walking in the sleeper hole. And into a neck breaker. This level of hostility is only going to lead to bad, bad things, guys. Here he comes off the tag. Off. Rapid foot as the challenger pin. Is this it? Kick out at one. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. They're slamming their face down. After shot, solid punch. Double underhook. We've seen this before. Oh, driven down. Twisting cutter. Jimmy Dodge is out of that. Well, there's a sign that definitely gets the point across. The superstar creating a little distance. Gonna close Ooh. in quick. Here he comes. High speed hip attack. So much damage inflicted. The challenger is not in a great place. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Top rope, 
champ. Good timing with that reversal. Close line to the back of the neck. And listen to this place. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Uh-oh. About to hit. for wear in the corner now. Oh, he fights Jay back. Punch lands. Suplex. Oh. Here it comes. Nicely done. Jay Uso feeling confident. Not backing down even a little bit here. Got the tag. Got the tag. What an explosion. with an outstanding surge at exactly the right time. And what a reversal from Jey Uso.
Oh, oh jawbreaker! Call the dentist. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Uso. right hand answers with an enziguri crashing to the floor dodges the attack by pushing off but jay still has more to do to get this fight fully in his favor pot right on the stomach creates the separation whatever you can do i can do better counters on top of counters he went right into that turnbuckle Consecutive attacks keeping Dawkins off his game. Yeah, Foose is firing Oof. on all cylinders. Just like Daddy used to do. Jay taking his offense to the top rope. Top rope. So surprised by Jay. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Try to end it. Oh, what a save. Corey, that should have been three. I couldn't agree more. He gets set down to the floor. Uso. Uh -oh. And nobody's there. He skirts around it. <laughs> Dawkins, double underhook. We've seen this before. Strategy, Byron. Oh. Tossed into the corner. Oh. It's Oos time. Thinking about backing Oof. it up like his dad. Here we go. Boom. That hurt. And the champion finally ready to put this one away. Wait, 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 wait. How could that be fair? Come on, Rep. Keep these guys in check. Evades the attack. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Close right to the back of the neck. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Reaches his partner for the tag. Jimmy gets intercepted. the dust to the champ. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Another big move. Jay Uso through the sky. What a splash. Now that is why they're the champ. Fought off 
Rock with an elbow. Oh, close line. Good grief. is still going on defies all reasoning. Big slam. Trying their opponent's arm out. Carefully measured double stop. He's looking to end this. Look out! Somersault plunge out of the floor. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Cheated, and I know the WWE Universe feels cheated. Not about showing off anymore for Dolph Ziggler because he believes he's accomplished everything he needs to in WWE, and he's right. One of WWE's most accomplished superstars, a multi-time world champion, multi-time intercontinental champion, multi-time tag team champion. Is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do? Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be one of the best in all of WWE.
This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he backs it up every night. The youngest Money in the Bank winner and also the youngest superstar to fail cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. Ah, oh, shut up, Saxton. Money in the Bank was an anchor, an albatross, and Austin Theory is better having gotten rid of it. Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler! And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Austin Five years of history behind that, the United States Championship. The United States Championship has a tremendous amount of history dating back to... Stop you, Cole. We know the history. Tonight, this match is about the future. The United States Champion isn't focused on how he won it. He's focused on keeping it. As much as I want to, I can't argue with that, Corey. Can't quite get him there. What a punk kick. Incoming. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you, never... Oh! oh, just completely off target there. You have daring, and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. He had it scouted. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Punch right in the head. They don't call Ziggler the show off for no reason. <laughs> Snap power slam. Up across the shoulders. TKO. Dolph Ziggler's physical skills, tenacity, and experience make him so difficult to match up against. But, Corey, what strategy do you think will work best against the show-off? No one respects Ziggler more than me, but sometimes Dolph focuses too much on humiliating his opponent instead of winning. When the show-off talks trash, a smart competitor should regroup and attack while Ziggler's defenses are down. Caught with a lariat. And up the turn, Buckles, we take off. comes out when you take risks like that. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Oh, my! Sit straight into the barricade. Oh, right to the back. Kicked in the lower back. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. Look at this. Boom, nice. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Ooh, man.
Austin Theory hoisting him up. Brain Buster across the knee. Guys, truly, I need to know, when will enough be enough? When is this going to end? They truly want to rip each other apart. I think you just answered your own question. This doesn't end until they rip each other apart. There's no happy ending to this rivalry. There is no saving grace. Things went from bad to worse. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, that'll break his arm. Vicious. And Theory's maintaining the advantage now. Very little for Ziggler to show off about right now. Dolph needs to get his head back in the game. Taking flight. To the outside. This could get wild. Inverted power slam. That's going to hurt. That's it. Nice takedown. Whip back into the ring. Oh, and Theory fights back. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Oh, there it is, the abdominal stretch. Grabbing the ankle for extra torque. Ooh. He's got Sharp elbows. And a hook toss to escape. See a kick out there. Kick to the stomach. Short punch. The show off looking to deliver. Saw it coming. Here you're looking for a win in the now. disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. And Theory clearly thought he had it there. He might have to consider a new strategy at this point. Fails to hit the bullseye. Oh, he's got him by the leg. Foot DDT. We're reaching a point where these superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's going to find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? Theory looking for a win in the now with Looks like the champ is going to retain. He did it! Austin Theory remains champion! Here's your winner, and still WWE United States Champion, Austin Theory! An impressive win for this superstar, that's for sure. But we've seen the show off fight back from bigger beatings than this. Joy, it's daddy's little princess. Yeah! Stratton is high class all the way, yeah! from her looks to her in-ring skills. Oh, yeah! uh, more like overprivileged, spoiled brat. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Clearly a polarizing superstar.
Well, Tiffany Stratton sure hasn't made many friends in WWE. Who needs friends when you've got a bank account like she does? Yeah, Saxton. to see a fight courtesy of the Empress of Tomorrow. The pageantry before the punishment. Definitely not ready for Oscar. Oh, hold on, Michael. Maybe on a good day. No, not on your best day. But for once, there's no shame in that, Saxton. No one is ready for Oscar. Oh, uh, can I finish my thought? I know you're scared. I get excited when I see Oscar. I'm sorry, Corey. Continue. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Maybe you can borrow Oscar's mask, Byron. Anyway, she's a women's Grand Slam champion. Raw Women's Title, SmackDown Women's Title, NXT Women's Title, Women's Tag Team Title. Oscar marches to her own drum in life and in the ring. A lethal striker. By the time her opponent knows what hit him, it's too late. title you are primed for big things the champion came out here somewhat gloating their belt around don't know if that's their way of playing mind games that title should give anyone the right to gloat look what good is it being on top of the mountain if you don't get to look down on everybody else? That is a sad attitude to have. Ooh! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. All right, that's it. And Asuka gets stopped in her tracks. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. All right, Kick to the back. She's able to get out of the way. Bullseye with the drop kick. Corey, as we get deeper in this match, what do you think will be Asuka's key to success? I mean, besides just being Asuka? I don't know if intimidation alone will win it tonight for Asuka, so I'd have to say simply asserting her dominance as often as possible. Never slow down, never let up on the offense. Oh, a flurry of strikes! Big! Oh, new champ! No, a kick out! Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Ooh, what a fall on the club! Slam down. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Uh, Tiffany manages to counter. Bang it back with their own counter. And well-timed maneuver there. Thunder 
Devil's Club comes down very effective. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Chick King. Ah, oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Buster. That is it. Stopping down. Ready for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Oh my! Sit out, Spinebuster! but to the victor goes the spoils.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Divas Championship. The Glamazon is here. One half of the grit couple. No fear in the eyes of Beth Phoenix. The Glamazon is a danger that most are not prepared to handle. Arguably the most physical female competitor in WWE history. Yeah, male or female, the Glamazon will wreck you. Just ask the Judgment Day, the Miz, Maurice, the list goes on and on. Bray and Nikki, a dominant team long before the women's tag titles ever existed. But now they plan to make the entire women's tag team division suffer. Introducing the challenger from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon Beth Phoenix. And her opponent from San Diego, California, she is the WWE Divas Champion, Nikki The historic Divas title may have a new owner tonight. For nearly a decade, the Divas title was the pinnacle for women's wrestling, and it's back up for grabs tonight. Now, Michael, you and I were there to call a final defense of this title at Roadblock in 2016, and I am excited to call it again right here tonight. And not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. Right to the gut. Uh-oh. She turns it around on Phoenix. A little rope assistance attacking the arm. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Okay, Flair. Rolling neck snap. Corey, I gotta know, 
what do you think Nikki's going to have to do in this one to come out on top? Well, we know that Nikki Bella has what it takes to win any match, but specifically, I'd say she should stick to those heavy strikes and forearms. Nothing too flashy, but definitely devastating and effective. Boom, oh, nice. And Beth with a counter. Quite in a bad position here. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Running <laughs> Bella Buster. Here's the pin title on the line. Yeah, that title is still up for grabs. No celebrations yet. Nikki Bella has her sized up. Nikki Bella perhaps looking to end this. Nailed it! The champ passes one on him now. Things are... Cover! Two! Kick out the ball. This puts the pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? That has to be an infuriating close call for Nikki. She thought she had her. Here we go. A bad place to be for the challenger. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Fist pulls a hair into the snapmare. Oh my god, this is just nasty. And Phoenix is in a state of distress. And Nikki's been precise and proficient going for the heavy hits, trying to devastate her opponent. Going up high with the punch. Oh, from the rope. And here we go. Locked in. It's locked in. And here we go. Locked in. It's locked in. Uh-oh, the end is near. No way. Oh, look at this. Our bar slipped underneath and able to count. Sit out nasty. Oh. Right out with a power slam. Using the elbow as a weapon. Uh oh. She's got an answer for that. Phoenix is in real danger now. Not a square shot with the back elbow. Offense with a fruitful purpose. Uh oh. Able to escape the double chicken wing with some questionable tactics. Well, the mark. We are seeing a lot of guts, a lot of detriment. Nikki's got her up. Rack attack. 2.0. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. So the week goes from bad to worse for the Glamazon, the quote-unquote most dominant woman in the WWE. This time, it's Nikki Bella victorious. Yeah, whatever plan Beth Phoenix had, will backfire. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Kevin Owens has 
has arrived. Time to fight Owen's fight. Well, he calls himself the prize fighter, and he's earned that moniker as of late. You're absolutely right, Saxon. You have to remember main event battles with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Roman Reigns. A look of pure focus on the face of the prize fighter. Because KO always has his eyes on the prize. WWE Universe, pay your respects to the Tribal Chief. The ultra-dominant Roman Reigns and his special counsel, Paul Heyman. Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table, a record-breaking champion. And with that success comes plenty of right-hand men. For Roman Reigns, it's all about the power, and he has all the power. Can he make this his show against KO? His might get higher ratings. Oh, shut up, Saxton. This is always the KO show.
The challenger not taking their eyes off the championship. And the champ is staring daggers right back at the opposition. Championship action underway. The champ looks as hungry and prepared here as ever. Yeah, they have absolutely no desire to even entertain the possibility of walking out of here tonight without their title. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah. Wow. A power bomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Reigns comes up short on that attack. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Ooh, oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Byron, if you were in Roman Reigns' ear, what would you tell him is the... Here's the pin title on the line! And the champion gets a shoulder up just before two. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Into the chop block, a debilitating counter there. Ooh! Uh-oh! Locked the rolling! Here comes the... He's got him up high. The fallaway slam. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. this display of power. Incredible match we are witnessing. Makes a cut. 
The referee cuts off the count in one. Giving a massive effort to overcome the pin attempt. Turning the tables. The undeniable Cody Rhodes is back and ready to stake his claim atop WWE. Turn to WWE. You're right about that, Saxton. A true WrestleMania moment, if there ever was one. in WWE and is now a first ballot Hall of Famer. And introducing the challenger, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, 
Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles has a trophy case filled with titles. A WWE Grand Slam champion. This man has done it all, and he has absolutely no fear. There is one thing we've learned all throughout the years, and that's do not bet against AJ Styles. Hey, he might not be the biggest dog, but AJ Styles has got the strongest bite. And there's no one who fights bigger bell to bell than AJ Styles. You're right. If AJ is breathing, AJ's fighting. Exciting matches in all of WWE, the ladder match. And tonight, the championship hangs high above the ring as these superstars will likely use every resource available to them to ensure they're the first one up that ladder. This guy has a lot of fight in him, and competing for the title will make him even tougher. Intercontinental, the U.S., the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. I don't think anybody in WWE runs their mouth quite as much as Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, but nobody delivers on their promises like he does either. The title is hung. We have the bell. It's ladder match time. And with the championship on the line, you just know these superstars are prepared to pull out all the stops, no matter how dangerous it might get in there. And believe me, it will get dangerous. Taking this outside. This could be good. He's got a ladder now. He could be contemplating something very risky.
What's Cody thinking? Oh, and Skyline with the brain buster. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. Right on point. Oh, man, he is fired up now. We've seen Superstar put on the line in a ladder match. Is that the only way to win this point? It's not the only way. Big risks have big rewards. Competing in a ladder match is definitely not time to be holding back. Uh oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out! Here we go! Making their own important climb up the line. I think this is it! Looks like that ladder is set up perfectly in the center of the ring. And the end is within reach here for one of these superstars. Going for it all? Interesting timing, to say the least. <laughs> Man, that was a hard landing. Cody retaliates. Missed timing with that springboard. Quick thinking pays off. Into the corner. This can't be good. And he's able to reverse. Oh, hello. That's the appear. Setting it up on the ring apron. I can tell you that's a dangerous spot right there, Cole. The champ taking their share of hits now. What on earth is coming next? Look at this, just unloading. Oh, oh nasty stop to finish it off. Done. Rollins with the schoolboy takedown. Oh, As then hooked. The mark of a champion. Knowing when to use the challenger's playbook. AJ with the wherewithal to avoid that. Onto that unforgiving steel ladder. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. What's he open to find down there? 
center of the 